Okay. Well. Showing you. This is a tomato. Lovely peppers. Lovely peppers. And a kiki. Just a kiki. Just a kiki. That's a good kiki. Yeah, this is Kiss Kiss. My little babies. And there's some basil. Some real pretty pink flowers. Of the house plants I need up out here. And this one here looks like it's really coming too good. And got my handy dandy garden buddy right here next to me. And we grew cauliflower this year. And my peppers are just amazing looking here. Just look at these. Look at all these peppers, Kissy. Did we grow those this year? Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. And we've got all sorts of things growing over here. So, I just wanted you all to see. We've got three rows of onions here. Onions are going to be going into the basement and three rows of peppers and he's got a bunch of them growing real close yeah. growing super duper <laughs> I haven't been doing any self pollinating just recently uh, because there was a bunch of peppers that I pollinated, which actually worked out super duper because my plants are just blooming. And um, so I learned a lot on YouTube this year about hand pollinating peppers. And uh, you took all the flowers and uh, Make sure that all of the male part of the flower is re pl plucked out of the flower. And of course, bees do pollinate them too, which there's a bee flying over here somewhere. Um, but anyways, this is my garden. And uh, I've got this friendly girl right here. She's This is my kiss kiss. And uh, she just loves to garden. This is where I found her, as a matter of fact, right behind me in my perennial bed. And we brought her in. And um, she was pregnant. And um, she had five babies, didn't she? Yes, she did. Anyways. We've got Blackie, Faya, and Kiss Kiss, who all have the rainbow colors because she's Mama. And uh, the other two are the babies. And then we've got uh, Mischief, and he has the spawn and crossbones because he's a little uh, nuisance. <laughs> That's his other nickname. And then we've got a camouflage collar with a green bell. It's going to go on Smokey Boy. And Smokey and Kissy hate each other. So they notoriously fight. But anyways, getting back to my garden. I've been working super hard on a video. And I just wanted to come in here take a film before I go from my
I've got lots of broccoli too. Broccoli look really good. Have to come out here and pick these. But uh This cauliflower. I'm so glad it's not a farm to grow in and it doesn't look right. There goes another nut. These tomatoes are starting to wind down. And there's the compost piles. Beautiful leaves. Shaded my zucchini. Anyway, just wanted you guys to see what I've been doing this year. Had a great time. Learned so much. I put some amendments in. Um, I got uh, worm castings, and then I got uh, I put down some Epsom salt. I also put down. Uh, some kelp meal and some bone meal and I did I did this to all the peppers and all the onions and all the tomatoes and of course the tomatoes are looking just beautiful and then of course we've got a, a vine growing on this old fence here fence line and there's a little flower over there I just have to show you guys that and here's my little girl again. Okay. Look at those onions. <laughs> I've been bending them down and they keep coming and, and going back up again. <laughs> They're going all different directions. <laughs> so some of them are getting pretty big and some of them aren't. It's just... Uh, harvested this celery right here but I still have this these two huge celery that has like four big bunches each which is going to be like four different soups so I've got four, 12 different packages of soups for soup these are going into the basement once I let them grow as much as I can and I still, I think I'm gonna need to get some some peppers picked. Because it looks to me like there's a bunch of ripe peppers growing all through here. And uh, I need to start getting those ready to go into the sh uh, my boot box. I, I've got a cardboard uh, shoe box that I put saran wrap in and I cut the cores out and slice them in half and, I, and then I put them into the freezer and freeze them and then I layer it with saran wrap and then when they're done freezing then I go and we gather them and put them into our food saver bags. So this is great stuff for, for our health. So this has been an awesome adventure this year really having a great time learning so much and this is my garden I want to thank you for watching my show I hope you have a wonderful a wonderful day and if you like what you've been watching please 
like and please subscribe and please leave me a comment below so that I know that uh, I can go and, and, and maybe go and exchange videos with you. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day now. There's that perennial bed of mine. Some of the babies that are getting big. And then, uh, <clears throat> got a bunch of new stuff that's going to come next year that I'm excited about. And the master datum up here just got a, its first boom, blossom. So, let's see about getting a picture of that. Over and out.